What's up y'all, it's Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the claw clip half up, half down method to where like it's half up, half down, right? And then it's like a claw clip holding your ponytail with the like two little slick down bangs. But unfortunately, I don't have no clip. So I'm just gonna be using like an elastic band that can make my hair look a little bit higher, but we gonna see if we could do that on this wig today. So let's get it to it. And this is my hair, this wig fresh out the bonnet. I did sleep with my hair in a ponytail last night and an elastic band on. And this elastic band is not that tight, so it don't hurt when I sleep in it. But the curls are still soft. I applied this wig like probably two or three days ago. Um, still kept up really nice so yeah so first off we just gonna start by combing out the curls combing out the wig so it could just be easier to style easier to style easier to manage and everything could just fall right into place because we're gonna revive the curls at the end of the video anyways to complete the look so But yeah, I've been seeing this, I've been seeing this hairstyle all over TikTok. And I just think it's super cute. And I just, I'm always doing like a side part or a middle part into my wigs. I'm never doing a hairstyle. So it's like, I just wanted to try something new and see how it will look on me. I'm pretty sure it will look super cute on me, but I just want to try it out. See if I can give it a try. Cause I'm not the type to really do too much to my wigs. I just put them on and either do a side part or a middle part. So since we done with combing our hair out, I'm gonna go ahead and redo my edges. They still kind of laid, but I still have to redo some of them like the ones on this side. I know I said I was gonna go back to using mousse to lay my edges, but I'll be forgetting that I got the mousse and I just be grabbing the spray cause I've been grabbing the spray for so long. So it's like normal to me to grab the spray instead of the mousse to lay my edges, but they still lay nice either way. So we got the edges down. Now I'm going to put this back in a ponytail and put my elastic band on for about five minutes just so my edges can dry. And I'm gonna come back when it's been five minutes. I honestly don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully it turned out, you know, right because shit. Some hairstyles is not easy. We're gonna start out by doing the middle part right in the center.
we not gonna take the middle part too far back. We just gonna take it back to like right here because we don't want the bangs to be that fat and that big because we still got hair to grip up here. So yeah. This is what my middle part looking like right now, but we is gonna go ahead and fix that up cause it's looking a little crazy right now. So to start to get my hair flat, we just gonna put some water on it. Just a little bit of water, not too much, just to flatten it a bit. And then we gonna take some mousse to flatten it and lay the hairs where they supposed to go. I'm gonna take a brush to flatten the top as well because I don't really want to put no heat on this style. I don't think this heat, this style require heat. So just a little bit of water, a little bit of mousse, a little bit of style and gel, you know. And then I'm gonna go back in and perfect my part if it needs to be like perfected or corrected. I think this is pretty much good though. So since we got the hair like laying in place just a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and do two parts in the middle, parting the two front sections out so I can get those nice and flat. We gonna start out with this side cause this side towards the camera. So basically this is gonna be my front section and we gonna like slick it down like that. We part my other side out too. I'm not good at explaining things either. I just do it. Like <laughs> I'm not good at explaining things at all. So excuse me. Cause I want to call this a tutorial because I'm explaining it the best way I can. But like, if y'all just see me doing it, it it's, it's 10 times better for me. That's how I learn. I know that's not how everybody learn, but that's how I learn. So I believe we got the two front sections that we wanna, you know, take out. And we just gonna put the rest in a bun in, to the back or a ponytail to the back, just so, to get that hair out of our way. So to keep the hair like tamed and pushed back in the back so it won't get in our way, I'ma just spray it down with some water and rub it back. Just so like no flyaways will go into my two front ponytails. Just to slick it back. 
Okay, so we got our two front right. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and spray some water on both parts just to flatten it and comb it out, detangle it. Give it that like slick look. So it's going to go behind your ear. And then once I lay the this side, I'm going to, you know, rubber band the back together so it can stay like back and slick, if that makes sense. So we're going to detangle it. Brush all them curls out. Like so, and send it right to the back. So now you have these two pieces back here and you just gonna rubber band them together in the back so it can like stay slick down. And you don't need to do no more than like three, three, Titans of the rubber band to keep the hair in place. And then pull it together so you can tighten it. And that's the front. I'm gonna go back in and like neaten it up a bit. So now that we got the front slick, we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of mousse just to keep it in place all day. We'll take this ponytail out and we are going to grip the rest of the hair that's at the top as much as we can. And then we're going to comb it back, brush it back up into a ponytail. So once you got like the desired amount of hair that you want up in a ponytail, we're gonna take some water, spray, comb up, comb through. And that should like flatten, that should flatten it right away. And I'm doing this on a water wave wig. So if you was to do this on like a, a straight wig, like a straight bone straight bust down type of wig, you would use a hot comb and a wax stick to get your top as flat as possible. But since I, I'm dealing with a water wave wig, it this water wave wig is very like movable. Like I can do I can slick this hair without even, you know, doing too much to it. 
because it's a water wave wig. So it take water well and it take curly hair products well, like mousse and stuff like that. So then you just want to take an elastic band and make a ponytail right at the top. Right at the very, very, very top. And you want to wrap this around probably like four times. So two, three, four, just to make it tall, just to make the ponytail sit tall. Like that. It's sitting tall and high. And you just want to move it to your liking. Just move it around to your liking. I think I'm gonna need to redo this ponytail, but y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna redo this ponytail just once more. Cause it's not really in the center, it's on the side from what it's looking like in my mirror. So we're gonna redo that, retry that. So this is more of my liking right here, so yeah. comb the flyaways back because it's always flyaways where extra pieces of hair just trying to go any other way but the way you want it to go you can either leave it like this like nice and poofy and curly or you can either wet the hair and define your curls Me, I think I'm going to wet my curls because I pretty much combed my curls out at the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead with some water and spray all of my hair down, every single part. comb it out comb the curls through define them with the dimming brush You can also define it with your hands too. Like hands work even better for curly hair cause it don't, it don't snag and pull your hairs as much and it's better, you know? Less shedding and all that when you define your curls with your hands. And then to finish it off, we just gonna take some mousse and distribute that throughout the curls as well. Cause mousse makes the curls extra defined, extra defined. And I'm gonna use my hands to comb it through.
And to finish this look up, we are going to add some Casilla right in the middle to define our part. Cause you know, you can't forget that. That's the most important part. That's what puts the look together. So take a little bit of contour cause that's what I use. And I just hit my elbow and just go in the middle just to define that part, make it stick out just a little bit more. Like so. Touch up a couple parts in the front. Yeah, it's giving. And this is the finished look. Let me know what y'all think in the comments because it's definitely giving. My curls are starting to dry already. The hair is starting to get bigger. And it's just giving, like it really is. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Let me know what y'all think about this hairstyle in the comments. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time I post, y'all will get notified because I will be coming with more content all 2023. Like, I know I've been lacking, but we're going to get that together, baby girl. I love it. Let me show you the back. I think this style is so cute. Super cute. But yeah, y'all know what to do. It's Sabrina the doll. And I will be back in my next video. Hopefully y'all will too. And I love y'all. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye y'all.